guys, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking, and today I'm going to be showing you ways to find the images you would like to find. All right, let's get started. I'm on the design.cricut.com landing page. I've logged in, it tells me, and I'm going to go ahead and start a new project. I can either click this button up here in the right-hand right, right corner that says New Project, or I can click this plus button down here that says New Project. And now I'm going to show you a couple ways to find the images you want. First of all, I do want to address the images that will default come up usually are related to the season that we are in. So these are kind of animals and spring-like and flowers and birds and, you know, because it's summer right now when I'm making this video. At Christmas time, they would have Christmassy things and they'd have Halloween and whatever. So they do that. Now, you can go ahead and click on this Categories button. And that's one way to find a bunch of images recently added, most popular, free this week. Everyone loves free this week. If you scroll down, there's different categories. So if you want animals, you just click on that and all kinds of animals will come up. I don't know why Seashore came up, but <laughs> there must be some reason. But typically animals and things will come up. Okay, that's one way to find images you want, just in general. The other thing you can do, now you see how it says certain animals and wildlife. I'm going to type in rabbit. Now that's now just searching within this category. So I love that rabbit. That's one of my favorites. But anyway, so that's, that's something else you can do. If you're done searching within a category or you want to go to just plain images, you click that back. And let's go ahead and search for shoes. I'll just say shoe. So here come all the shoes. This little A in the corner means that you are part of the Access Subscription Program, which Cricut offers, which allows you to design and cut these images. Then you'll also see I've got some that say purchased, and those are from cartridges I purchased. Okay, so there are all my shoes. Now, there's a little button over here that's so handy. It's called Filter, up here on the right. Now, you could do ownership. This is very helpful. Just my images, uploaded images, free, Cricut access, purchase. I'm gonna click on purchased. And then those are all the ones I know for sure I own. And I, I, it, not part of necessarily Cricut access. I purchased this and it's in Cricut access, but there it is. Okay, and it looks like you can click multiple categories. So I'm just going to just do uploaded. See, I have never uploaded any shoe images. All right, so we're gonna undo that, and let's go to my images. Now, I can also decide, do I want 3D objects, backgrounds, borders, textures, all kinds of things, cards, let's click on cards, and here come all the shoe cards. So do you see how handy this is? Now you can really zone in on what you own and what you wanna find. So I hope that's been helpful. These filters are the way to go. One last thing about images that might be helpful is this far right button allows you to see them more of them smaller or less of them bigger. Okay, and then you just go ahead and you select the image you want by clicking on it and you go down to this bottom section that says insert images and you just click on that and there's your image. Okay, and finally, let's take a look and see how we can find the images on our cartridges. I go ahead and I click on images again and this time what I'm going to do is click on cartridges. Now, it, I also have a search item of shoe here, so I'm gonna take that out, and then I'm gonna click on cartridges again. All right, now here are cartridges that they show a free one, they show purchased, they show ones you can buy, here's one I can buy, so it shows all the cartridges. I can go ahead and filter that down to just my cartridges, free, Cricut access, or purchase by clicking that filter button. So let's click just my cartridges because I want to search in cartridges. Okay. Now let me search for all the cartridges with the word bird in the title. So I go ahead, I've typed in bird, and here are my bird cartridges that I own. Three birds on parade, seabirds and fish, and songbird. Let's say I want to find my close to my heart cartridges. I just type close, I hit enter, and here are my close to my heart cartridges to look at. So that will help you quickly find your cartridges. Let's say I want to go ahead and look in my cartridges for um, flowers. So I'm gonna look in the flower market cartridge, so this should be interesting, because there's a lot of flowers. I go back up here, and you'll see in the search box, it says search in close to my heart flower market. So I'm just gonna type in flower, and all the flowers will come up. All the other things that are not flowers are all gone. <laughs> so. You can see how that works. So you can actually search within a cartridge. Let's say I change my mind. I'm gonna click the X. 
this is a new feature. This is not used to happen in Design Space 3. You're still within your cartridge. So that's really helpful. So I could say leaf. And here come all my leaves. That was interesting because I put leaf with an F and, and then I said leaves uh, with a V. So, But here it all comes. So what's nice is sometimes you're looking within cartridges for things and you don't want to have to go back and find the cartridge again over and over. You know. Okay, and that wraps up all the different ways to find your images. I hope you have a great day. Take care.